10 years ago, Chelsea Small was murdered in this building here behind me. It used to be a cash advance store on the morning of November 12th, 2013. A man with long hair came into the building, shot Chelsea and left her to die. Today, Taylor police and her mother and family are still looking for answers. I'm begging you, please, please. It's been 10 years. A heartfelt plea from the grieving family of Chelsea Small. This is the man who police say shot her on November 12th, 2013, and then robbed the cash advance store Chelsea was working at on Telegraph near Champaign in Taylor. There is a $55,000 reward if you help solve this case. And knowing that he's still out there, can do this again, it's always in the back of our heads. Taylor police have sifted through hundreds of tips and theories over the past decade. Stephen Schwein was the original detective on the case. This unsolved murder weighs upon him. You can't help but but take it personal. You can't help but feel an overwhelming response, responsibility to provide the closure that they deserve. Detectives believe the killer was between the ages of 35 to 50 at the time. The weapon, a 45 semi-automatic. The man seemed proficient with firearms and what's unusual, he used a silencer. Police say they don't have a reason to believe Chelsea was specifically targeted, but are open to the theory. Chelsea was only 30 years old and the mother of two small children. She loved her kids and um, she was just, she was good people as we say, she's good people. She didn't deserve this at all. And neither did this grieving family, their plea to anyone watching. This person did this family wrong. I raised good kids that were respectful and and, you know, um, you took away a good human being that loved what she was doing for no reason. You know, no reason at all. If you have any tips on the case of Chelsea Small, you can call Crime Stoppers at 1 800 Speak Up. It's completely anonymous. You will receive that reward if your tip leads to an arrest. Reporting in Taylor, Scott Walchek, Fox 2 News.